And now I, Dr. Kuchenheimer, will make my greatest technical breakthrough a 3D me. Isn't it? Ah! Wait, come back! Oh, it's only a matter of time. 3D printing just keeps attaining new heights. Coming up, I'll share two cutting edge 3D printers that are revolutionizing technology. Stay tuned. Researchers at MIT and Delft University of Technology have unveiled a groundbreaking 3D printing technique known as speed modulated ironing, which uses a dual nozzle printer for stunning effects. The first nozzle deposits a heat sensitive filament, while the second ironing nozzle dynamically controls heat distribution, transforming color, shade, and texture on demand. This innovative method can produce items with varying transparency, opening the door to custom creations in fields from aerospace to medicine. Though not yet suited for mass production, this technique hints at a future where custom 3D printed materials are optimized from everything from strength to sound control. Coming up, a 3D printer that could break the sound barrier, but first, it's our premier product highlight, sponsored by Mauser Electronics. The Altec KU360N series motor disconnect switch is a versatile three-pole switch designed for extended or direct handle motor disconnection. It operates with a maximum voltage of 600 volts AC, supports currents from 25 amps to 150 amps, and handles motor FLA ratings from 11 amps to 83 amps depending on voltage. Compatible with one and three phase systems, it also has a short circuit withstand rating of 600 volts and accepts a wide range of terminal sizes. The Altec KU360N series motor disconnect switch is ideal for general purpose motor control. Head over to mauser.com and check them out today. Ah. <laughs> Sometimes we all can feel a little kooky and disconnected. Thank goodness for education to keep us on track, which is why we present David's Corner. When it comes to industrial devices, we see the color red a lot. But what's the difference between all these red devices? Some of them we push, some of them we turn, but what's the difference? Well, this device right here is called a disconnect switch. Now the name disconnect means that obviously it can either connect or disconnect something. And that something is the supply electricity coming into a machine or an assembly within a machine. And what differentiates these from emergency stop kind of devices is that an emergency stop of some kind, whether that's a push button, pull chain, a magnetic switch for a gate enclosure, those all need to be installed at the point of access where it's within easy reach for an operator. A disconnect does not provide instant reaction time to something going wrong in the equipment. It can, however, be turned on and off and locked in the off position for maintenance procedures but it provides a way to be able to disable e electricity to the entire machine that it's responsible for powering. Now, if we look inside, we see actually a smaller assembly inside. This is actually the disconnect switch. Often the disconnect switches can have handles that come in from the side, handles that come in from the front, and they look an awful lot like circuit breakers, but a disconnect by itself is neither fused nor has a circuit breaker inside. And what that means is that while you can turn it on and off, it will not provide automatic protection if the device downstream starts using too much electricity. There are certainly electrical enclosures that contain both the disconnect and a fuse block or a breaker or a combination of both, and those provide extra protection, but the disconnect switch by itself is only responsible for providing a way 
for the operator to turn electricity on and off to the equipment in a well-marked, well-visible location. Now, circuit breakers do have switches inside to be able to energize or de-energize them. But we don't often rely on those circuit breakers to be able to be the main responsibility for switching on and off because the sensitive springs and devices inside can, over time, with enough switches, change the current rating that it actually trips at. So instead, that's why we use a disconnect switch along with circuit breakers and fuses because this is the piece that's designed to be switched on and off repeatedly. The others exist solely to protect the downstream equipment and the operators from any damage. So disconnects are really important as part of an assembly to supply electricity to a device or a sub-assembly that's electrically controlled. Andy, back to you. Renowned scientist Dr. Kuchenheimer, famous for his invention of the kooky watt watcher, the watch that zaps you when you leave the lights on. Ow! Serves you right for leaving them on, Bill! Was seen in Astrum Park today stealing candy from a baby. And his father is very upset. Well, it wasn't Kuchenheimer, but Concordia researchers that have developed a high-speed 3D printing method using acoustic holograms. The printer is claimed to achieve speeds up to 20 times faster than traditional printers. And what's really cool is the process. It's shown as holographic direct sound printing, and it uses sound waves to create sonochemical reactions that harden resin through localized heat. Integrated with a robotic platform, the method allows real-time modifications and simultaneous printing of multiple objects within the same space. This promising technology could advance fields like medicine, enabling the fabrication of complex tissue structures, drug delivery systems, and skin grafts. Healthcare, aerospace, and so much more. It sounds like the pioneers of 3D printing are going to change the world. By the way, I wonder how Dr. Kuchenheimer made out. 3D me, on 3D me, where are you? 3D me, you want done cuff you? Look, there's Kuchenheimer. Get him. Whoa! Ah, it was 3D me, not me. 3D me, where are you?